You know, Galaxy Sands is really the perfect font for these title cards of mine. Because even the S's are backward Z's. That's how I knew it was perfect. I just love Super NES Capcom sound so much. Like the Street Fighter sound chip here, sound font. Like, uh, I think Mega Man X and Breath of Fire use basically the same sound font, if you can believe that. That whole era of sound was just so damn good. I miss, like, in the Super NES and, like, N64 era when sound had more reverb, you know? I don't know where all that reverb went. Yeah, I mean, I suppose if you're not like a child of the 90s like I was, then, you know, you might think it's only okay, but... In my mind, is just the best. YouTube over. Uh, that guy, I'm not going to even make any, any effort to pronounce his name, but his channel is a goldmine of shit like that. He's really, really good at converting, uh, especially Mega Man songs, but even some outliers. I think he has, he has like a Pink Floyd cover in there, but uh, yeah, he like covers Mega Man's, uh, Mega Man music in different sound fonts. And usually it's really interesting how they translate usually pretty well to one another. It's uh, kind of like a fun... S <laughs> uh, like the composition kind of follows it's it's more synergized than you might expect but uh i've really been enjoying some of that stuff i also really enjoy uh the mega man x cover of nightman's theme that is a particularly a really good one like the intro to that one especially sounds like mega man x and breath of fire and i just love it it's just a few seconds, but every time I hear it, I'm like, no. <laughs> anyway, it's XCOM time. Uh, he even threw a Mega Man 11 cover in there, and really, I will be the first to admit that Mega Man 11 soundtrack by and large missed the mark. But it's interesting how hearing it covered in, I think it was, uh, Mega Man X3 sound font. Uh, <laughs> at least bringing it back to that retro sound chip sound improved it. If I ever get a capture card, <laughs> uh, Mega Man 11 is a very high priority for what I want to stream with it. So, you know, be prepared for the possibility somewhere down the line where I'll get a capture card and I'll just spring that on you. Like, guess what I'm streaming again today? Wrong! Mega Man 11! But that'll probably never happen. Anywho's. Uh, in other XCOM 2 stream news, part 10 of my, uh, Zior Streams XCOM 2 series does not want to go on YouTube. Uh, the usual export stalls on, like, processing forever. Um, I tried saving it as a highlight on Twitch and exporting that, and that failed out outright. It simply would not upload. Uh, I can't download either the VOD or the highlight from Twitch, from, yeah, from Twitch. Because I thought I would just, you know, upload right off my hard drive. Nothing works for some reason. Part 10 is allergic to YouTube. 
so I might just plain not get it on there. Uh, I guess I'll just leave the vo the uh, the highlight there, so at least part ten will exist. Um, you know, as a highlight on Twitch, even if it's not YouTubeable. So uh, I'll keep trying to figure that out. All he says he might need to use a third party downloader. Maybe I don't know. I'll have to I'll try to figure something else out, but. Uh, in the worst case, hello theoretical future viewer of YouTube video, if part 10 does not exist, it's on Twitch. Uh, we killed the Chosen Hunter last time, and he was the last Chosen, so this is no longer the War of the Chosen, it's now the War of where everybody except the Chosen because they are dead. Um... This is probably a bad chunk in it somewhere. Yeah, it seems to be. I mean, it must be a problem with the original VOD itself if everything I try to do with it fails, so. But anyway, it's, yeah, it's now the War of the Chosen's guns, which we definitely have. Uh, as a matter of fact, I remember that being the last item of business I took care of last time. I went ahead and assigned uh, the, cho the Chosen Hunter's rifle to Zior, and I gave his handgun to Sawako, and we will use them to kick all asses. What were we last doing beyond that? I think I was working on something and then a mission got sprung on me and I was like dar, dar, dar. Uh, I was probably scanning for Avenger power. I see we have the satellite bonus over Asia which gives us like instant make contact which will be handy soon. And uh, we need to start knocking over these facilities and uh progressing in the actual main story so we can eventually finish this game. Yeah, we are currently scanning to get more Avenger power. Against the elders, we find nothing but success. We can now upgrade our assault rifles better. I'm happy with that. I think. What else we got? Uh, whoops. Gain resistance kind of burr, burr. I don't think we need that. Uh, wait for research. Nah. Uh, how long do we have? Let's see. Well, first. Just region income. Fabricate PCS. Gather supplies. Manufacture upgrade. Improved combat intelligence is such a nebulous one, and not an extremely helpful one, considering... Well, you know what? Why don't we send zero on increased combat intelligence, because as I observed last time, due to actions that obviously were utterly outside my control, and could not possibly have been my fault in any way, we are short one awesome grenadier that we used to have, so... We could start working towards, you know, a replacement good grenadier. Someone says increase in combat intelligence gives them a bunch of personal AP. All right. Well, that is handy then. Yeah, ability points will match the new combat intelligence. I don't perfectly understand that, but I get the basic gist of it. But if we could start using him, that'd be cool. Because he has a funny voice pack that makes me giggle and say har har. Uh, where are we month-wise? 11 days out. Yeah, I mean, the Avenger power probably isn't going anywhere. So, yeah, let's just go hoover up some countries, why not? It's instantaneous to do so. Alright, all it says if a colonel upgrades their combat intelligence, they get all the AP they missed out on for being a lower combat intelligence. Oh, I see, okay. So it both increases their combat intelligence and retro retroactively adds the AP that they would have gotten had that we had it been at that level already. The local resistance forces in this region, Commander. We're ready to move on the coordinates we pulled from the Codex. We're just gonna go ahead and take over Africa. New regional contacts. We own Africa now, it's ours. No big. What are we doing that intel? 115, we're probably good. 90 until we're gonna need more. New regional contacts located. Uh, yep, 25 ain't gotta do it. That cost goes up as you progress, I believe. 
And with that done, we might as well start building relays. Of the, resistance. the hell said that? Oh, I think it was somebody who was queued up from one of my contacts. Uh, right, we'll want to start building these, uh, the satellite relays, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and get back to scanning for power. We didn't even fly anywhere to make contact, it was just poof, done. What do we get? Uh, EMP bomb? The upgraded EMP bomb deals massive amount of damage to robotic and mechanical targets. Reading you loud and clear. Yeah, I guess they're, like, queued up because we went through them so fast. Uh... Yeah, acid bomb, gas bomb, smoke bomb, incendiary. We've got a whole bunch of shit. That's interesting. Not armor. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. That reminds me. No, we need a gatekeeper shell to build that alien app. I don't think there's anything else in here I really wanted. Because most of this stuff. Let's build the proximity mines just for funsies. Um, right. Like, all the stuff that I haven't built are, like, one use and discard forever items that I usually just don't bother with. All your upgrade- all your grenades just updated to be plasma grenades, but with their individual typings, says Ollie. Uh, okay, I get it. Yeah, so it's like an upgrade to all of my explodes. Neat. Unstaffed engineer, we don't have anywhere to put him. We're not using the Scilab. I mean, you can hang around at the side lab if you want. If you want. Yeah, there you go. Just stand there with your clipboard and look important. It's the best you can do. Uh, looking at OBS, I'm not seeing that steam pop up on there. I don't know what's going on. That's so weird. Well, even, have, even after having assigned an engineer to that station, we still have an unused engineer. We have more engineers than we can use. What do we got for Gorilla Ops? 20 enemies at that one. That is... Yeah, the lost are there. Okay. Undercover is... Civilians present in this combat zone can be contacted to gain valuable rewards. You don't say. Also, that is a dark event we probably want to counter. Gatekeeper. Is there a gatekeeper? We want there to be a gatekeeper because if we kill one and get its crap, we can make the alien amp and make our already preposterously powerful psyops even better. Uh, high alert could be rough too, but for watch shots will always miss advent troopers. Jesus, these dark events are getting rough. Elite Spectre, Andromedon, Gatekeeper. Get a scientist. Yeah, all of them suck. Kinda leaning towards this one. Not being able to start in concealment at all would be a big problem. Have an even bigger problem than, yeah, having a Increased detection radius. Shit. Alright. We'll go neutralize the field commander. And there will be a gatekeeper here, so we can still get that. Oh, and the lost are here. Alright, why not? Setting course for Sector 6, Eastern Europe. Yuri up. Commander. Commander. Be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Right, that was the other fun thing that we figured out last time. We now have two Colonel Rank Reapers. Both of them have Banish, and both of them are equipped with rifles that have expanded magazines and a uh, chance to instant kill whatever those are. Repeaters, that's them. All of the alien bosses are dead, yes, we've dealt with all of the Chosen and all of the Rulers, and all of the Rulers are being turned into fashionable armors as we speak. So our Reapers are real fucking good right now. Uh, she's a little pooped, so we're gonna get, let her take a break, and uh, I think I will bring Wraith. I'm gonna go ahead and bring our Psy up as well, and I'm gonna let her hold on to that rifle. 
Uh, where is Iris? Bring Iris. Uh, so, I mean, we do have the bolt caster, but also consider that we can fit three upgrades on a plasma rifle now. You think that's something we should do? Well, what's already on this one? Advanced scope, auto loader, just basic auto loader. Superior stock. <sighs> nah, you know what? I'm gonna let her keep the uh, the bolt flinger. It may it may have like lower DPS, as it were. Not a real thing, but you know what I mean. Like it has to reload per shot. But boy, does Iris make those shots count. I like her having that decisive power. Uh, who's wearing... Uh, who's wearing fighter suits? Do we not make armor available? Make armor available. And Sulanko's got one. Yeah, it has ridiculous accuracy as well. It's like a sniper weapon for, like, regular people. No? Seriously, who else is wearing spider suit? Oh, she is. Um... <clears throat> you, instead of spider suit, you wear heavy, you wear exosuit. How's that? Yeah. It's a little incongruous to the psychic soldier a bit, but... <sighs> he tells. You are a psychic soldier who also shoots heavy munitions from your arms. I'm sorry if you have a problem with that. Uh, Piter suit. There we go. Now Iris can go places goodly. She must have med. She... who has med? Dr. Butts has med. Uh, you sharpshoot man. I think we gotta bring Sawako on this one. As much as I would love to have Zior... <laughs> uh, break in his new rifle. I think it would be even more impressive if Sawako went ahead and brought his new pistol. This lost situation. Of course, there's no rule that says I can't do both. Yeah, hold on. Proxy mines, proximity mines, uh, radius is... Range is 12, radius is 4, does 6 damage and 2 shreds. That's decent. They also do not detonate when triggered by friendlies, but will damage friendlies if they're caught in the radius. Because everything does. Uh, Suwaku. What am I giving you? Have AP rounds? Have AP rounds. Do you need AP rounds? Hold on. The pistol ignores armor. Yeah. You know, you just bring the prox mines. We'll try them out. See if we find a good use for that. Changed my mind. You know what? The Reaper should have the prox the, the, the proximity mines. You take venom rounds. That works. I don't like this guy as much as I like Dragonova. I'll just uh, front load that. He's a little bit funny with his Vayhek, uh, voice pack, but... Also, he should have, like, he should at least differentiate, you know, hold on. Yeah, here we go. They're a different gear than Dragonova. There we go. Just so you look a little more different from behind. Uh, bib... Glad us, you're still not quite a champion, we'll get you there. Mox... Are we bringing Mox? Who are we bringing? I feel like we just upgraded Mox's gun. Let's bring... Yeah, let's bring Scorch instead. You should have flashbang. Forgot to give you the med kit. There we go. Got battle scanner, got flashbang, got, uh... I think we're good. One more revision. You know what? Instead of flashbang, take, take Kraven in. There we go. 
Beautiful. Let's go. Alright. I'm glad Zero's rifle gets to live on, because boy, it's pretty to look at. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. I kind of like that the, I could use the hex pattern to match the Zero TV aesthetic as well. I'm a total nerd that way. Mm, Beedoop. I've been slacking off. I have a lot I still need to do for Besiege tomorrow. I told you I'd have a working helicopter by the next stream. I don't know how probable that is at this point. I've been very distracted. Advent's command structure and delay their current operations. All we have to do is neutralize that officer. Ruins of St. Petersburg. I feel like there was a GoldenEye mission that took place there. I mean, the graveyard? Oh right, we also turned on the target preview. I really don't love having that on screen at all times, but the target along with any other hostiles that stand in your way. As I expected, Commander, there are significant readings indicative of the lost moving throughout the combat zone. Be careful out there. Yeah, it really came to light that I had a serious propensity for moving people into places and then not being able to shoot from them. So Wally recommended I turn on that target preview, and uh, again, it's not the most elegant UI design, but I think it'll help me out. Go ahead and take your high ground. Seeing all kinds of dudes. All right, now, we, can, we gotta find and kill the Advent Field Commander, who I believe will be alerted as soon as we're discovered. Yeah. I miss Bat Templar. The best accidental combination of, uh, concepts. says the little target reticles by the enemies are there by default. I had not noticed that. That is a lot more... It's it's almost too much more relevant. That's that's a good sentence. That's, those are good words that I said. But, uh... Uh, can you... You can... All right. Breaking my neck is not a fun time. Yeah, so like they did think of that, it's just so very subtle that I honestly never noticed it. Yeah, so like if I moved in there, nope. If I moved in there, yes. What do you know? I'll see if I can get used to this t uh, target preview, though. Whatever. It's not like seriously disruptive in any way, it's just not pretty. I don't really, really like this situation we have here. Let's get moving. Like in general, we're spotting all kinds of dudes, but we're not spotting the dude we need to spot. No problem. Rocket feet. Unseen by all. Uh. Come on. 
gonna try to buy some time and uh, I got your back. see if we can keep scouting with our Reaper. Advent and the Lost apparently get along really freaking well before XCOM shows up, huh? Our dude. There was our dude for a second. That's an order. Accept your fate. Target identity confirmed. That's the general. Take him out before they can escape. We won't get another shot at this. All right. How hard can we flank this guy? I think we can go around this building. just need to use this turn to try not to get detected. Good thinking. Watch me blow that. Uh, open dwarf. It reeks like piss. Mike, it's part of Nope, safe. This is so tense. Wheels you or fuck up the stealth. Up here, guys. Could take any of these dudes out, but nope. Just uh, just take it easy for right now. This is Iris is also a healer with, with the crossbow and life file. Uh, I feel like this is actually the second time she's ended up in that configuration uh, in my XCOM universe as well. Possibly not positive on that. It just seems like a natural thing. Pretty sure that'll be safe. I think on my last game, Zior was the support guy with the with the bolt caster, actually. Alright, just you three. Alright, take your concealed overwatch. Gotcha, no, Where are you? Alright, let's not forget we have more advent around here. There's a gatekeeper somewhere. Oh, look at that. Advent finally tripped into Lost Pod. Well, they really kicked the clown car. I guess he was just kind of hanging around down here, and then he was like, wait a minute. There's danger. The specters are so problematic. But I still think they're just too damn cool. The whole map just woke up. And for once, it wasn't my fault. I would say the specters aren't the biggest problem. It's, I mean, that's true. There are definitely bigger problems, but... Once in a while, they can really mess you up. I do have face off, Suwako has that. Bop. Another bit of good game design about the Lost. When whenever like they are in actual melee range to attack someone, they all just attack at once and do it like a cumulative number. You don't have to wait and wait for them all to like attack in sequence. Okay. Here's what we are gonna do. Yes. We're gonna set up a big ass ambush here is what we're doing. Science. Actually, Hex, you don't go yet. Let's 
seen with you, Silvio. But we are going to wake up that field general in style. Come on, let's go! Come on! Suddenly, XCOM! Uh, you go ahead and take your pair. Um, no? Okay. I guess they didn't figure that was a big deal. Of course. You there, can you shoot? Uh, you cannot see the, uh, codex from there. Can you no lance? Nope, doesn't reach far enough. Yeah, hold still for a minute. Damn. Alright, you keep holding on. You might still be able to remote start something. Crap, everybody else is on Overwatch. Alright. Right, this guy is dead eye too. Pretty sure the Templar would be safe if I took him out. Because he's on parry. I think that parry would work against that explosion. Hold on. That's a lost brute? That thing has that much health? Remember them getting pretty tanky later in the game. There's Advent General. Uh, whoops, did not mean to confirm. Thanks again, hotkeys. And my bad hotkey habits. Still a good hit. What is going on here? I don't see any big need to uh, go to war against that codex right now if it's got it lost all over it. I guess no take it easy for a sec. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let ah, him of that course ship. that freaking thing would move first. Yet, apparently, it is not immune to GLaDOS Overwatch. What? And it's Shadowbound, the most useful guy for taking out that Field General, or whatever the hell he is. Although we do still have our Reaper right there, so we can make that work, probably. So Walco can easily take him out from there. Oh, fuck off. That's just Walco and Gladys. Moving last, you crafty bastard. And he's not moving towards the exit, so good on, good on him. Mm. There's, a, there's a lot going on around here. Sure, why not? Interesting. <laughs> Boom. I knew there was like no chance for her to miss that shot. That bullcaster gets ridiculously accurate. Enemy VIP is dead. <laughs> That's how it's done. 
We need to clear yeah, the that's how you do it. Any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Yes. That us, I believe, has at least one free reload. Completely operational again. Sub chat, reconnect for some reason. Your blue weave. The enemy has been destroyed. Alright, the lost don't like that. I have noticed some internet connectivity hiccups over the last few days, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem for these. Uh, you, I would really love to have deal with that, uh, with the codex. What is... Oh, it's a... Cyrus's gremlin? Good. Seems a little lost. And he gets to keep shooting because, yep, he's just gonna shoot until his magazine's out. Uh, okay. That's a great question. What the hell did just happen? Do it. Um, maybe it is a great idea. You know what else is a great idea? Yes. I mean, I would love to leave him at the high ground, but do it and then face off. Good plan. Plus. Yeah, yeah. How do you like your new gun, Sawako? Five. Ah, oh, only five? Still. He's the last one with the turn. And one target. <laughs> Take him out, I guess. Killer shot. Reloading. Free action? Why, thank you. Boo. Sees very much the real weenies. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, crap. 
Out of that. Well, one of our awesome Reapers is dead. God damn it. I can't say I greatly feel like that was my fault for a change. I feel like I, I just got XCOM'd on that one. I can't point to any one egregious mistake that I made, I made there. Fuck. I mean, it's great. I mean, we still have Dragon Nova, but... Damn. A dual Reaper squad taken down way too soon. What are you doing here, asshole? Well, they die like anything else. You come here to Dr. Butts' turf? Dead. You kill Reapers? You do not kill XCOM. I can't believe you fell for that. XCOM kills you! Ah, they smell worse dead. Ha! That's more like it. Good turn, Dr. Butts. He's not even done. Sure. Hey pal, how you doing? I like that thing you did with your plasma rifle earlier. Good job. Tell me to Andromeda, maybe not a bad move, move, yeah. That's true, I would love to see it dead. Yeah, you can go ahead and fall back on that one. Go ahead and patch up Hex. She's not hurt too bad. But... Good robot fart. How are you doing, Glanos? Yeah, I believe we're researching that last armor upgrade, like, currently. And we'll be getting the ruler armors pretty soon. I saw that teleport, you cheating bastard. Where are you going, fool? Where are you going, fool? <laughs> Good double tap, Sawako. Ah, GLaDOS. I mean, I know that was a tough act to follow, but damn. I'm almost sure this Templar has, like, a uh, Blade Storm or whatever the Templar equivalent is, so I'm not too worried about him. The sooner we can get the Overseer dead, the better. Or whatever it's called. All you can see is that Codex. Gatekeeper, yeah, that thing. About you. No. You know what? Let's go ahead and take it out. 
Not everything needs to be done in the most dramatic possible fashion. You can just run up to it and shoot it a bunch of times. How's that? Quite armored, but not for luck. Science engineers believe that it is most likely incapable of feeling much pain. <laughs> no, shoot that. Excellent. That's the only good kind of ga gatekeeper right there. The gatekeeper that died before it could pull any shit. Legs. I see. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, you go get the loot. I'm really giving my poor CPU a run for its money on this one. Good shit. That extra loot order is freaking ridiculous, isn't it? I could have sworn for a second ago, yeah, you have a shot at that codex. If you have any chance to take out that codex clean, take it. It's not a very good chance. You have 95% chance to hit, so we'll just assume that hits, but even that being the case, we only have a 1 in 3 chance of it being an instant death. Take it. Nope. Iris, you got grapple. Where can you grapple? Where, where, where you go? Where are you going? Not far. Ugh. I'm coming. And Andromedon is our last big threat. <sighs> nice punch, ass. And they're going to start mind-bombing everyone. Not that the Templar gives a shit. <laughs> Got a free reload. If we could actually see the codex brain just like flop out of it on that one. Uh yeah, I mean don't stand around there if you can help it, but Yeah, what about it, fucker? Fight me. You can go ahead and take the high ground back if you want. What do you know about that? <laughs> I know I said this before, but I really like the Andromedons from a design standpoint. They're just really freaking cool. Yeah, we're not really using our mind powers very much in this mission, but... I mean, she also has the best rifle, so... No, just these two. Stop fucking around. <laughs> and that's the swooshy sound of gaining an extra action. She will use to shoot stuff with a gun, maybe. It does amuse me that it acts so confused. 
Uh, Mr. Templar man, you finished the job? No. Uh, I don't think that would help here, would it? Don't try to talk me out of this. I don't think he has any other targets to speak of, so. Yeah, nope. But that's okay. Done like dinner. Fatality. We have confirmation. Mission accomplished. Oh, it really sucks about that Reaper. Damn. Get out of the train, people. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, you know what? Fine. We'll just do it your way. Just no train picture. All right. Let's get the train. Matter of fact, let's. Here we go. It's the ghost train that took the Reaper to the afterlife. We tried to get GLaDOS to suplex the train, didn't work out. Criminals inflicted a sudden and unprovoked assault upon us today. May our thoughts be with the advent citizens we lost. May they truly be at peace forever in the Elder's loving embrace. Well, that's a particularly shitty line in a mission where you lost a guy. Yeah, it was kind of my fault. Didn't expect it to go that badly for him. Starving in a shack somewhere. No regrets, Commander. I appreciate that, Volk. Was he a hero? I mean, he was pretty cool. He didn't really do much. This one only says he fell so Dragonova could soar. Yeah, I suppose. All things said, I'm glad it wasn't Dragonova. And at least we do still have a Reaper. Not like when we lost our only Templar. And we got our Andromeda, uh, our gatekeeper shell, so we can make the alien happen. Oh, Commander. Commander. Yeah, I know. Uh. New orders, Commander? Nope. Okay, just the one. Blam. Really good psyops. As if they weren't already. But you know. Even better best is what they are now. The even besterest. Facility lead. Nah, we got, we're got we pretty good on facility locations right now. Alright. Uh... So what is our contact capacity? Hold on here. Contacts 10 out of 13. We probably will need one more. 
What's the grand total that we'll need? So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll need another one. Commander, we should make yeah, yeah, some I know. Yeah, 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 Snake. And somebody who will get better aim. Uh. Where? Let's see what we're doing. Go nuts. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. We need intel. So while we work on intel, we can start on these facilities. Plotting new course. New corf. We can't just scan at the Reaper HQ to gain intel quickly ish, but. Six days till powered armor, seven till the rage suit. Plus three Avenger power, that's significant. Uh, let me just. There. Supplies. Uh, there's some intel. Let's get some intel. Avenger plotting new course. Got uh, that's blue screen rounds, right? No, we got it's EMP bomb. All right, so we invented the upgrade to the EMP bomb before we invented the EMP bomb, but and we got blue screen rounds. All right. Cool. Skull mining. Intel gains. Could be useful. I mean, why not? We'll We're not exactly hurting for Illyrium cores here. Send word when the project is complete. We're also building a replacement cans. That'll take a while, though. Actually, Ollie, you remind me. Is anybody suffering anything? Nope, we don't have any negative conditions to get rid of. Aside from almost deadness. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Yeah, our task. Yeah, we're just running out of good things to do, to do here. Facility lead. Gather. Yeah, True. I mean, we always need supplies. Alright, hold on. Dodge plus ten. Sure. I mean, what if... <laughs> Gizmo! Commander. He meant to say it, he just forgot. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. What have we got, Tigan? Anodized chassis. Celestial gauntlets. I didn't realize this was a Templar upgrade, too. Warden armor. The war suit. The Wraith Suit! Breakthrough and Modular Assault. Uh, that, right, that's a thing that's already done. We're pretty much out of things to do here. Well, hold on. We get, uh... Alien Data Cache. Let's see if that includes Intel. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Commander? Commander. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll need more supplies. All right. We should have got some coming up in a few days. Yep. 
Yeah. This is our basic power armor frame, providing the durability you'd expect from a giant armored suit. All right. Yeah. Skadoosh. Ah, poop. We're out of supplies. We haven't been in the black market in a minute. Our team is actually quite Yep, efficient. we got intel from that. All right, good. I agree. That is an important task. Uh. There we go. Came had a small spaz there. <laughs> Nearly impenetrable skin of the Berserker Queen functions superbly as a bodysuit. Uh, begrudging stuff. Rage suit features a mechanism to rapidly spike the adrenaline of the wearer, enabling them to rush enemies for powerful melee attacks. Alright. Experimental heavy weapon? Alright, alright, alright. So, wait, is that the thing that we have to you build? Yes, and it costs 75 supplies. All right, so we'll get to that in a minute. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna want some war suits and some wraith suits. Wait a minute. We already had experimental heavy whip. Gives. Whatever. Uh, let's hold off on the suits for right now, because we need supplies. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. And we got supplies. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Yeah, we can skip the Chosen on account of they are dead. Didn't we have like a. Then we had a thing, armor or something. Maybe not. Guess not. Must have hallucinated that. Intel rewards. We will we'll be needing that, won't we? For a minute, anyway. There we go. For the defeat of the elders. Get to that in just a second. Prove beneficial. I await your orders, Commander. We have a whole bunch of these things. I will begin our research immediately. Strategic resource located. Forty five intel for all that? Let's go get it. We don't want that right now. We want our supplies. Avenger plotting new course. New. We're doing all the XCOM clerical stuff here. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before it goes booga booga booga. Here's a mission. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Good. Understanding of the Elder's vision has grown, and now we must strike in new ways to crush their efforts. Go ahead and knock off some of that Avatar progress. We'll send the truth. Indigo. My kind will do whatever is needed. I believe I need to visit the little boy's room. So we'll be with you in just a second. Thanks for being here and all that. BRB.
I am back. Ollie says, only big boys rooms in your house. I will refrain from comment. Uh, let's see, what were we doing? Uh... Yeah. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I guess let's just keep hammering out all these, uh... I will make that our highest priority. Intel parcels that we've been piling up. And then we can start on the Shadow Chamber shit, because we have literally nothing, nothing else to do. Very good. We are, uh, pretty good on supplies. We can start buying armor. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Uh, go ahead and get the... Spark upgrade, Celestial Gauntlets. Rage armor, we're low on alloys. How'd that happen? Alright, well, that gives us something new to look at. We didn't start building the serpent suit? Well, I'm fucking fired. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. I must have set it aside because I was missing something or another. And yeah, we're really low on alloys. Supplies. Sorted loot. Yeah, well, that wouldn't hurt. I mean, we do have the armor upgrade for all of our... Fuck. Like, we have the best regular armor, but we don't have, like, the high armor, the like, the powered exosuit or spider suit variants, whatever they were called, wraith armor or something else. Uh... We should go ahead and hit one of these facilities, huh? The race suit and roar suit, right? Icarus armor is coming right up, but we'll still have to build that, and we don't have any alloys. Avengers Stink! New course. Now, are those proving ground projects, like, uh, upgrades to our existing... Suits, or will those be like new suits efficient. that we're building? Hello, Commander. Like, was the war suit an upgrade to the exosuit, or is the war suit just a war suit that you built? There's our Icarus armor, which lets dudes fly. Okay, one has been added to the armory, I think it said. So, theoretically. Yep, we have Icarus armor and Raid suit. Okay, so we don't have to build those, we just, we can focus on the others. It is interesting to note that we can build more of these should we choose to. This armor should give you nearly unlimited freedom of movement in combat. Yeah. Okay. We've only got one of these things, so be careful with it. Just because you look like a berserker doesn't mean you can go charging off into combat like they do. Is that a challenge? I don't know why it precludes me from wearing a hat. But... Anyway, so this is what, uh, plus, okay, yeah, six extra health and one extra armor. As compared to if it was just an exosuit. Oh, that's not that big a change. Alright, so I'm not losing much if I just go, uh, with the exo and spider suits that I have already, but we do definitely want to build wraith and war suits when we can. 
I thought they were one and gone as well, but yeah, apparently there are, you can build more should you want to. But, uh... I don't see an overwhelming need to, not at this time anyway. It's not, certainly not a big priority as compared to just building, uh, war and wraith suits. Ooh, nothing to it. We are victorious, and the cause is advanced. That's a lot of explodes. Oh, this is my grenadier squad was fully kitted out in war suits. That's four explosives per unit. That's incredible. Uh, gather supplies. No, no, that's just regular supplies. Uh. Resistance order. Suit up all armor and vest projects are completed instantly. Well, where were you now ago? Uh. Shit, I think by the time we're able to enact that, we won't need it. Hmm. Interchangeable upgrades. Oh, that's interesting. That's an upgrade so, like, you can swap upgrades off of weapons and keep them instead of just destroying them. Let's do that. That sounds good. For health. Nico is just our, like, shadow operative at this point. I'm just sending her on all this stuff. Alright, get our assorted loot. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Get the assorted loot. Get whatever I can for remaining contacts. Then go knock over a facility. Research can only further our advances, Commander. I am ready to begin on your order, Commander. I don't care about that. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll you don't build workshops here. You can all work on the floor. Uh oh. Codex, Viper, Heavy Mech, Elite Shield Bearer, Sectopod. That's our big thing. Alright, let's try not to blow up the whole train this time, like our Z-team did. The demo man just launched an explosive right in the middle of everything. Bradford's like, uh, we're supposed to be bringing some of that stuff back? I'm like, oh yeah, I bet. Uh. We have so many awesome units, it's becoming harder and harder to pick which ones to send in. Holy shit, Scorch is shiny, look at this guy. That is incredible. Alright, hold on here. I gotta fix the asymmetry, I'm sorry. Like, you can't... You can't rock that kind of shiny and then also be, like, all lopsided. I mean, we gotta... Go for optimum magnificence here. Wait, there's a specifically a powered pauldron? Alright. That is what I picked. Okay. The shiny, shiny Jesus. Shiniest Jesus. I'm glad I stuck with that color. I mean, I looked at, looked at a second for, uh, for a second at changing his colors to match to Scorch better, but I... That metallic purple is just way too beautiful. I can't deprive him of that. Look at freaking GLaDOS, too. That's an amazing upgrade. And GLaDOS is still coming because she's still not a champion. We'll get there. No, that one's Julian's. I think they're pretty much the same thing. bring Hex. Hex is going to be seeing a lot of action from now on. Zior, you got a rifle that's burning a hole in your hip or some shit. Uh... Craig. 
You, I believe, have the immense honor of breaking in the Icarus armor. <laughs> All right. Trust me, it's real good armor, okay? Uh, bring your katana as well. You know, how does that compare to the axis? Uh, hold on. So, fucking help. Damage, eight to nine plus one. Armor pierce five. Axes get to do less damage from having katana's way better. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas says it's not his colors, but it is intriguing. I mean, good. Hey, he gets to bring two things. Can't hate that too much. Yeah, maybe that's not an ideal look for him. Actually, you know what? How about... Well, why, uh, why don't we just leave you in the Icarus suit there, Craig? That's fine. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. Um... I'm not used to people being able to carry two things anymore. Let's see. Here's a smoke bomb! Zior. Somebody should be in that rage armor, but whomst? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put Iris in the rage armor. <laughs> I thought about it for a second, like, nah. I don't think I feel right about that. Um, I do feel like maybe we should. S hmm. You know what? I think Iris should have the chosen rifle. And our. You know what, that. Honestly, that's fine. It's not great, but. Uh... And Thomas says, let Iris punch aliens. I mean, I'm not that opposed to it if you think it's a good idea. But I do think that she should have the Warlock rifle. Because she'll be using it more often than the PSYOP will. So that'll be like a better synergy than her having to reload all the time. Uh... Then you can have the bolt thrower. Thomas says it gives us something to do while the gun is empty. That is also true. You know what? Hell with it. You win. Uh... Ollie with the counterpoint, Iris doesn't need a mobility thing that puts her in the middle of combat. She's a support that you want to be free up. That is also true. You know, I guess Hex is just going to have every single option. Swaka, you were kicking complete ass earlier. Uh, I have entrusted the Chosen Hunter's pistol to you. You were getting some shit done with it. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try this for right now. I'm gonna give... I'm gonna let Hex have the muscle suit and the bolt caster. And, uh... You know... You know... Craig, how about just some regular ass armor for you, huh? We'll stick- we'll leave you with the exosuit for now, you know what? It suits you. I think I figured out what I'm doing. Iris. Wanna fly? I like it. Makes sense to me. Zero can wear a regular old fighter suit until we invent the better fighter suit. You can keep your dark lance. That's mine. Powered Shadow Keeper. Fighter. I do like, I think, the look of the tier 2 armor is best. I don't mean it's close, but. Mm -hmm. 
Also, it changed my shades again. Hang on. <laughs> I just got to walk. That's why the long face joke. <laughs> uh, I mean, we were, we were honoring Monkey with those, but... We have to move on. Mm-hmm. All right. That's a good team. I like everything going on here. Mr. Templar, the very shiniest man, still has the frost bomb. We'll go ahead and bring him. Operation Half-Dead Sword. Sure. Here we go on Operation Half-Dead Sword. We have all of the chosen weapons with us. Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Wait, no, not the pistol. Because the pistol belongs to Sawako. Drinking water, if you can believe that. I don't normally touch the stuff. Cat is here. Cat is on that. It is now cat. It's a perfect we'll opportunity clock. for us to pick up some supplies for ourselves. Once deployed, move to locate the advent crates and mark them with our transponders. Firebrand will be on standby to airlift the goods. I do like how freaking shiny all the top tier stuff is. This is a box admission. All right. Well, these aren't too bad. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity sure to bring them for ourselves. Dragon Nova, she's really okay, good at these. Mark the crates with transponders. The Firebrand will handle the rest. Uh, well, her mobility on the ground is quite poor. Make her jump. Oh, so that's like quick relocate. Not bad. Alright. Uh, All right. She has the battle scanner. She's very thumpy and thuddy. She's like Endgame Hulk, where like he's basically just Bruce Banner, except also the Hulk. She has like the mind powers and also is titanic and scary. Let's go! Get my back! No, gross. Zior. this cereal? Oh yeah, that's his ultimate. Uh, I don't think Sawako is a colonel yet, is he? I need to work on that. Let's go, let's go! Who's that wolf again? I think that one wolf follows us around. This is Trollins. Got your back. Damn, I was good. Zior already went and used his grapple. How far can you swoose? You can swoose wherever the hell you want.
Good swoosh. I think. Let's take it a second for the gremlin to figure out what the hell just happened. Nope, she got spotted. Oh well, that was only our first move. We can make this work. It's fine. Matter of fact, she still has all her actions. Ah, all right, hold on. Yep. Sure thing. There it is. Hello, time. Guess who's freaking dead? Wow, you missed so. Oh. Iris. It's okay. Uh, yeah. If there's anything we can do to take these codices out first, make it so. At any rate, you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain. I consider that a failing, by the way. <laughs> Zior, who can you hit? This Viper. That's not much. Somebody has a... Alright. Uh, we can just... Clear a line of sight for Zior. He'll take care of that... Codex. afraid of that. I can dominate the codex? It is time to have a little chat. What do you know? All right, that works. Oscar Mike. Hey, he said it too. What you gonna do, Chief? Go kill Viper. Murder. He's not bad Templar, but, you know, it's fine. He's, uh, he's pretty alright. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. Nope. We may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. Wow, nice shot, ass. We have a lot of ground to cover to get to those crates. And, uh... <laughs> I, as a rule, I don't think I'll ever be underestimating those heavy mechs again. Last time I ignored one of them, it didn't go well. some rubber here. GLaDOS has four armor. Yes. And 16 health. Super freaking tough. Pick up. 
So very dead. That's good, right? All right. Advanced expanded magazine. Can I hate that? Judging. <laughs> Damn, I love Templars. Yeah, same to you. Only a 33% chance to hit that shield bear. Uh, so you are just move up, I guess. Teleport, Sionic Bomb. See how you assholes like it, huh? Oh, that will hurt the box. Alright, just shoot a guy then. Pretty much just run a distraction for me, that's fine. Can you swoosh again? No, it's on cooldown, damn. Hold on here. I can't not try it, it's the law. Didn't think of that before I damaged it, but... Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to do some science. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Reboot as XCOM robot. Alright, I guess I'm not doing science right now. I'm still not clear, and if the Templars, uh, parry will defend him against that explosion, but... He lost one... Advent just there lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Uh, he was in full cover, too. He's not now, though. Now that you are moved. Good move. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace 1 5. Yeah, true. We're not that worried about supplies at this juncture. Uh. Us is gonna have to be busy with getting supplies. Yes. Uh, that's fine, I'll take the shot. <laughs> Ink, Louis. Ah, but he lived. Love that dude. Zior, 
Uh, eh, heavy mech's stupid anyway. Rifles, Eeyore. It's a shame we've kind of sucked at using it so far. Yeah, well, you know, we'll get there. Let's move it. Oh, I did it dumb. That stream brained. Uh, no worries. Hold on. Yeah, no problem. around here? Don't think so. <laughs> she looks considerably less GLaDOS-y with all that gloss, but it's cool. Hey, you. Can you do this? Oh, we found the sectopod, though. Sectopod cares not for <laughs> structural collateral damage. Oh, you can. No, you can. Well, then you suck. playing a lot of catch up on this mission. I'll do it. Stompy hex. So very stompy. Full of stops. He'll be fine there, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Good shot. You can see a sectopod just fine, yeah.
All right, I guess it doesn't have the beacons. That does make sense. That's an overwatch. Don't forget him. This part does look very bombable, doesn't it? Uh, we didn't bring much in the way of heavy weapons. Crag probably has a shred storm. Or just shredder gun. We don't have shred storm cannon yet. We'll get there. Oh, hi. Indeed. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, wherever, as long as it counts as being a cover. Here is her punch thing anyway. Rage strike. Attack any enemy within movement range with a devastating melee assault. Alright. Soften him up first. Let's not run into that. Through here. Oh, okay, he's the only psionically vulnerable target. One damage. Reloading. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I forgot about that. Even if it doesn't give you the hair trigger action, yeah, you still only need one action to fire the Dark Lance. Yep. <laughs> How immensely satisfying. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent work. That's a good lineup. Yep, sure, you go ahead and, uh, Cammy White just ass mug the camera. That's fine. <laughs> Rage suit gets plus one to thighs, system. Sure, they look. He says, honestly, I think Hex mooning the aliens is the perfect propaganda poster. I am inclined to agree. I 
would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. <laughs> GLaDOS looks like we just attached her head to a completely different body. Another success beyond all expectations. I'm continually impressed, Commander. Does seem appropriate, actually. Check out all of our fucking chosen guns, man. Killer. Nice. Shitload of supplies, shitload of alloys, that's what we needed. Kind of. Uh, yeah, we'll still need them to build Wraith and War suits. Good mission. Hello, Commander. Hello. Our proving ground is freaking busy, though. Hold on, could the proving ground be upgraded? No. So, I mean, we're gonna have all the chose the ruler suits as well, so we don't need like a shitload of these. Maybe just one of each for right now. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Especially considering we have a huge queue in the uh um here. Moving ground, that's the place. I say words good. I know all the good words. Right, they do extra stuff of some sort, don't they? Uh, what were we doing? We were going for a sort of loot, and then we were gonna get, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and finish getting our sort of loot. Plotting new course. Then we'll go ahead and pick up probably all the remaining contacts. Close to it. Against the elders, we find nothing but success. There we go. Apparently, if we swap a if we replace a weapon upgrade, we get to keep it now. Reportedly. Gain ability points. Uh, that could be useful. Breakthrough research, hollow planner, production. What's that do again? Oh, right, more resistance orders. Maybe we should do that, huh? You know what? Gather intel for right now. You know what? Hold up. Don't gather intel for right now. We don't really need a discount on the Hollow Planner either, to be honest. I mean, we can afford 125 supplies right now. Uh, get another Syntist. What if? We will work hand in hand with our new allies. Ooh, he got bluer. This will prove to be an important step forward. Will it? Oh, modular vector rifles, nice. The science is eager to begin. Command. Make that so. What, that's our assorted loot? Setting course for the Arctic. That's not where I meant to go, but okay. 
Yeah, we'll get right on the Shadow Projects as soon as the modular vector rifles are done. Uh... <clears throat> literally have all the resistance contacts we'll ever need. Go to... Go to New Chile, I guess? That's right, we don't even actually have to go to the places. We're just like, pow, you're networked. Not, 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 yes, that's come, not, yep. Perfect. I too am human, like you. Signals coming through clear. New regional contacts. Oh yeah, I forgot about Australia. Uh, <laughs> right, there is another continent. All right, we will need more contacts. Uh, can we? Do we have just upgrade room? Resistance comes. We already have the upgrade on this one. All right, so we will need more. We'll get everything we can for right now. Meow. I like how quickly we can network the rest of the planet now that we're not under the thumb of the Chosen. Like really, that was... <laughs> we were just kind of doomed into spending most of the game on one continent when we woke up all three of the Chosen at once. We're reading you. Regional contacts located. Make it so. Intel's down to 45. We'll need more of that. Alright. And we'll need two more contacts. Yeah, that price, it's... the intel cost is getting up there, yeah. Dragon rounds! Captain with highly oh, combustible mini-charge. Nice. Dragon rounds do bonus damage to all targets and can set some on fire. Nice. Not mad about that. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. New Indonesia. All right, we need three more. I forgot about that. No, wait. Yeah, just the two. There's Australia and then Indonesia. All right. What do we got? An engineer. We really don't need engineers. Lightning reflex is not great. The Collector's Chosen will... Oh, <laughs> don't need to counter that one. So I guess that makes it pretty clear. We would get a Grenadier for that other mission, but... Only six enemies, though? I mean, all the other guys are dead, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn off that lightning reflexes. That wouldn't be very fun. Z or you kick ass, but we need to tag Sawako in. He knew he wants to be a colonel too. This guy already is. I feel like in general we want to swap in some people who want to mix things up here. Let us your stay and we'll let Mox come. He, uh, he's Basil Craig. Hey, where's Doctor Butts? Where, where's, where's the butt? Major Butts. We haven't brought Ollie along in a minute. You know what? Actually. Let's go ahead and bring this guy along and see if we can get some stripes on him. Nah, our weapons are too well upgraded to make the legacy ones worth it. I'll let you borrow the Ollie Cannon and take good care of it. 
experimental grenadier belt. It's kind of gross. Uh. <laughs> that'll do fine. Can't get enough of those shredder guns. They never stop kicking ass. Somebody already have flashbangs? Somebody already has flashbangs. Craig already has flashbangs. Don't have flashbangs. Have uh, a frostbomb. You have flashbang. And all right, hang on. Do that the other way around. You have uh, you have dragon rods. And flashbang. Yeah. Uh, all right. Don't mind me. Just dying. Uh. All right. You know we will give Craig the whole Comania suit this time. I think. Wherever it is. Fuck's sake. Really, just not flattering at all. But it's it's fine. It's, it'll, it'll be fine. I also have no idea if that's what uh, Kragum's actual hair looks like. My guess is probably not so much. Take the Zuo rifle. Take the Dark Claw. Take uh, take Pirate Suit. Take. Metal Scanner. Iris, we're just gonna let come along as she is. She's fine. So maybe bring Prox Mind. Try that out. Mox! Venom Rounds. No, you know what? Not Venom Rounds. Acid. Alright. Makes sense to me. How did Mox fare from our latest fashion upgrade? Doesn't look much different. Just slightly shinier. Yeah, Alright. I think Iris is making the Icarus armor work. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Five by five. <laughs> Mox, shiny thighs, Mox. Uh, my parts. Yep, there's six of them, six of us, so everybody just pick one target and fight them. Challenge them to honorable open combat. Single combat. Combat. Final destination. No items. Box only. Hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation. So we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site. Lock it down and destroy the target. Mission objective, destroy all stuff. Greg is the infragable crunk. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. And our target's just that one thing? Like, I don't think that's even the thing that has the extra relays around. We just gotta go there and destroy a thing. Looking forward to Dragonova getting an extra weapon upgrade. That'll be fun. Just realized that when I parked her there, I blocked the ladder for anybody else who might follow. What if? Moving. Uh, yep. Yeah.
Crack has to go on a diet. Very heavy. Moving quickly. There's the dudes. Wait, why to get an extra AP? Spotter. Soldiers granted a bonus to aim when their bondmate has attacked or been attacked by. No. Stand by me. Hello. I don't know. Oh, parkour. 5% chance for free move. Alright, neat. Let's not do that. Dead. One second, one second. Go to the car. Yeah. I still don't place a ton of stock in parkour as an ability, but you know. This time, just like, hey, Mox can go a little better. No one's explored yet. Give it a second, though. We got the we got a new red shirt here. Not even wearing pants. You have no idea what happened to the last red shirt who came in here without pants. Copy that. What you're just wearing like a leather vest? Yes. What is this laundry day? Push these guys, I think. Up here. Mm -hmm. Mm. Might not be a great ambush. Spectre will ruin your Overwatch's words to come out. Uh, true. Alright, We'll try it. Good copy. Moving on target. Really? You can get up there. She would almost certainly be spotted if she went here. Yep. Uh. Yeah, sure. Meow. Cool. Sure she has jump code foots like the mechs. plasma hole in the in the <laughs> like billboard behind him. Not even a billboard, it's just like a railing. I guess specters can't dodge like heavy weapon overwatches. Which I that's a stipulation I don't remember, but not mad about it. Yeah, says you. Suspecting this merely like 90% of aid. I don't know. 
I feel like we've seen them fail uh, the lightning reflexes thing a few times, and every time it was either a spark or a guy. Uh, Zero shot the moving specter. Uh, this battle scanner. You do. I don't think he has a special kind of, you know, he only has like a couple of skills. One. Change my mind. I can just swoops. And the confused gremlin. There you are. So, a bunch of overwatches. All right. Got you covered. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot to violently disassemble you. Ah, <laughs> oh, loot destroyed. Darn. We never get loot. All right. Um, did you guys forget? Right. All right, what blew up half the building we're in? Huh, nothing, I guess. Yeah, I guess he figured, you know, this just wasn't a big deal. When the roof exploded and the thing next to him died. What, he panicked? Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, can't punch that? Or? All oh, right, he panicked when he saw us wearing one of him. If you got the shot, you take. count. Nobody likes you. Suwaku. Good shot. Yes. Spear was like, there we go. Major, major green frog. Through here. Don't know where the rest of the dudes is. We'll find out. Hey, you 
useful aid. Skirmishers are too good. I move. Ah, crap. See, that was my best possible move. Iris still has her move, right? Yep. Really? Beautiful. Damage. Moving. Whereas Iris always says good blamage. Red shirt, go hide behind those tires. interesting. Well, that was a real waste of its first move. I'm glad it chose to do something stupid. There's a wall right there. You cheating bastard. Flop. <laughs> I like Lanos. Who wants to be rage striked? You might be a little bit on fire. It's fine. Look. It did indeed. Destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Three hair triggers from that size zombie. Alright. That's awesome. Iris, you got a shot on that? Yeah, you take it out. Take that, apparently. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was... Yep. Sure was. I don't know what's going on anymore. Stop paying attention like two hours ago. The Carl voice back cracks me up. That's affirmative. There is us on the wall. Okay. Oh yeah, we got more guys dropping in. I guess we have to deal with them.
My stream brain's gonna get even worse as I require less and less thought on the south end of this inverse difficulty curve. We're just so well equipped. Good shot, Redshirt. Target down. It's nice to accomplish something with you today. Who wants this one? Rage Strike is on cooldown. <laughs> that was like Indiana Jones shooting the swordsman. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We care so little for your resistance that we stop to pick up munchies. The decision to eat so many Doritos. Officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Good simulation. I like the part where the, everything exploded and everything died. Holy <laughs> <laughs> says there's obviously no way we could possibly regret. All the Dorito is eating. I I have on occasion regretted a certain quantity of Doritos, but I want some Doritos. The soldier that joined us from the resistance is certainly a quick study, having already surpassed some of our other soldiers' capabilities. Yeah, this guy's still... Alright, now he's an actual sergeant. Just like real life. Uh... Yeah, it was suppression. I know you weren't asking me, but Cool Ranch is the shit. Uh, yeah, you got fan fire. Colonel Greenfrog. Dr. Colonel Butts. <laughs> just saw a zombie, just drops three hair triggers. Alright, whatever. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have You've exceeded, exceeded them. them, Commander. It says I need an office and a coffee mug. Now, stat. Now and step. That's a severe order. Then again, I'm already a colonel and the commander. Uh, grenade and ammo. Really? Alright, uh... Hang on, bug in my face. Got it. All right, uh, what were we scanning before we went over there? Yeah, relay building is probably what I was about to do. There is intel up there, but eight days. Or four open facilities.
Uh, duh. Yeah, we only need to build one over here, so let's do that. Setting course for Sector 3, Brazil. Brazil. Zior, come to Brazil. Our actions have succeeded, and the elders grow fearful. Alright, got a scientist. I think there was something else I was like, I should do next. Yeah, we need resistance order. Alright. Health plus one. Uh, why don't we set the Templar on that one? There we go. Sea breeze. Oh, what? Nah, we need our rental. Sorry. A few rounds. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Commander. Uh, hold on here. Great. Improved assault rifles. Pass. Go to the shadow chamber. <clears throat> Excuse. Time to research that spooky blue, uh, green vial that we picked up like a year ago. Also, somebody should try to clean up the glass in here. No. Um. Hold on. Like, hang on, do we already have the serpent suit? Put an armor, Icarus, Rage. No, we're still working on that. I thought I had accidentally started building a duplicate for a second, but I guess not. I'm still working on the first one. Yes. How did that happen? Yeah, I thought that was... Alright. I don't know. I guess I'm overthinking it. Yes, yeah, Serpent Suit is building. And that I might make, like, a Zior staple. Because I remember it looking pretty good on me before. If you can believe that. Uh... Brain farting. Having a cute stream brain. How am I supposed to make a working helicopter? Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. <laughs> I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Uh. Oh yeah, we get an extra order. Uh. We obey. All right, hold on. Finish the relay. Reading you loud and clear. All oh, bad effects last only one turn. All right, good. Plotting new course. That's what I was doing. I was scanning for the other resistance contact thing. And then we'll have two and we'll be good. Experimental armor. We've got stasis vests. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that one existed. Built-in medkit automatically restores health. Neat. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. 
resistance. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill, and now the resistance can take on more responsibility should you need it. We have learned new things, new tactics to be used against the Elder Servants. If you would order it, we will make it so. Go ahead and get a new Reaper. Sabotage. Remove one block of Avatar progress at the end of every month. I like that. I don't feel like we need it, but it would be pretty good. Spare parts. All Proving Ground project costs will be reduced by 20%. Okay. Spoop. Scientist. My followers will lead this action to victory. That's the other thing I keep forgetting. There you go, you can be pals with the demo man now. <laughs> Might not be able to do better than this. This may be perfection. I hope you're ready to be famous. Oh, I feel famous already. We'll go get another Reaper after we are done with that whatever I just picked. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we recovered non-stop since our return. Cataloging... Well, it's had a long time to think about this. ...genetic sequences in near-infinite combinations, yet all bearing similar genetic markers. Human markers. There must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands. And the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from. By cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar. Just what exactly is in that vial? It's in people. My worst nightmares I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's. That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. It's a high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. Yeah. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. Yeah, maybe we found some of those missing well, civilians who we saw bad. being dunked into the vat and turned into green goop. No, that's impossible! We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. Yeah, Alright. What are we getting there? We still have to go and deal with the other story mission. The place where the codex coordinates left. We've made us, contact with the resistance us. operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the Alien Forge facility. Not right now. 
this place. New course. Get the other resistance contact. Our action together is complete, Commander. Uh, go get a Reaper. I mean, we have a perfectly good Reaper, but... Get a easy promotion for him. And yeah, whoever. You know what? You can hang with Sea Breeze. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. All right. Yeah. continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Still a little part of me I always expects him to say, and bullets too slow. Setting course for the That's Arctic not what I meant to pick. It's too busy being funny, haha, -ha, man. Took us about a day. We got a retaliation, and it's right there. Berserker, Chrysalids, Elite Purifier. Uh, you take five, I'll send Zior. I'm not sending the truth, he sucks. No one likes him. Haven't seen heavy weapons, I'll only minute. We'll bring him. Got us still looking for that last promotion. Let's bring a sigh up on this one. You know, for a change. Actually, you know what? Just remembered. First of all. There we go. Are these, like, actually identical? Hold on. Advanced repeater, superior expanded magazine. Advanced expanded magazine, superior repeater, almost identical. We should maybe make them differently colored. There you go, I have purple. Look like you might like purple. I don't know. Uh. All right, you know what? Maybe she's going without the left sleeve to pay homage to the other uh, uh, Reaper who bought the farm. We'll let her have that. That's your way of showing respect. Uh. How about a superior stock? We don't do stocks very much. You know what? Do we have any... Yo, we have an advanced autoloader. Lamp. Extremely freaking good rifle. Also, she's pals with Jane Kelly. Make stuff available. Good. No, you already have a good rifle. Keep your power in Shadow Keeper. Take Pirate Soup. How's that? Yeah. You. Yeah. 
That suit looks so awkward on him, but it's too useful. You take the Ollie Cannon, as your Ollie. You have Exosuit. Tread. Grenade. Grenade. Perfect. In one situation where we won't want everything to be on fire. Good enough. I'm getting, I'm getting like, stream fatigue. So, that's enough thinking for now. We'll just go. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking stock could maybe make the banish useful, but then if we have an auto loader, we can just have them take their full turn after they've used banish. They don't have to reload. So that is to say they don't have to use an action to reload. I like Reapers. They're cool. I like all the Resistance guys. They're all pretty kick-ass in their own way. I don't know what's holding up GLaDOS in the promotion paperwork here. She's been right there in the thick of shit. Traffic from alien forces moving to attack a resistance outpost in this region. And we're the only ones with any chance of stopping them. We're heading in to lock down the area. Neutralize all hostile contacts with extreme prejudice. Harmony Ridge. At least I don't think they send, like, gatekeepers on these things. Wow, nice frames. There we go. Menace 1-5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Darn. Good. <laughs> All right, which way are we going? No earthly idea. Got it. Mom says they can appear, but there wasn't one listed on the manifest here. They can extremely fuck up retaliations. Yeah, I can see that. Probably we can cover pretty good ground here. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. I'll be there soon. I've noticed that the odds of entering a bleed out state instead of just instantly dying at zero health have not really been very good. In this game, in, in general, I seem to get those bleed outs a lot less often than I'd like. Go, go, go! Mm-hmm. Okay. Bog. Uh -huh. Fine. I miss Robo Zior, though. Get ruled. Here we go. Alright. I don't know if there's anything going on that way. Alright. Left ways from us, I mean. Probably not. I feel like we would have seen something about it. Get out of 
Rescuing civilians does not break a Reaper's concealment. Or maybe it looks a little less good in the daylight. Yeah, everything's this way. Follow the road. Benjamin Taylor got way killed. Sorry, Ben. I understand. Move places video game. Anywhere good I can be. Might as well stay up on this ridge. Batman. Eh. Call it ass. That's me. Found the guys. Uh, this may be sub-ideal. I'm not that worried about it. Yeah. Not too worried about cover. Didn't see anybody with ranged weapons. See you soon. Sounds good. Yeah, that's... yeah. I feel like they could close the gap on Zero pretty quickly here. We don't want that. I will reposition. Clear this area! Nothing. My life is in your hands. You will never hide from me. Wait, what? Oh. No? Oh, I think she spotted someone else. Alright. Uh. Ollie. Come on. Suppression, rupture, incendiary, acid. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Good boom. Hold on, I'm on my way. Yes. How you doing, Chief? Free Overwatch. Yeah, they got fucked pretty good. Poor Harry Hughes. We barely knew him. Wait, 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 wait. Civilian? Zero cannot grapple. Seven and a half. Just climb up the fire. Oscar Mike. Somewhere or another, I have an old picture. There's just like a list of the worst possible superpowers, and one of them was revive bugs. I'm just like, I can think of a few such way. You know what? No, I can't. That is the worst power. I am trusting you. I have sight beyond for the patrol is coming. Damn. 
Damn. You reached a civilian? I know I already kind of scanned over here. Uh, I suppose. Mm. Moving out. I will always find you. An alien patrol. Oh, hi. I'm glad I sent Dragon over over that way. Well, not to say I'm glad I sent anybody over that way, but considering it was somebody, I'm glad it was Dragon over. Oh, all right. So they weren't awake yet. God damn. All right. Go for it, Iris. Make it so. Still just an even 50%. Fifty percent might be as high as it goes. Are you kidding me? Well, poop. Ollie. At least that civilian got a free move. Poop, poop, poop. I love my grenade rounds because I'm a heavy mech and I suck. Only targeted Ollie barely hurt. You feel shame, yes? Damn. Sorry, Guadalupe. Couldn't quite get to you. Left and right, Commander. Yipes. Alright. We have what the kids might call a situation. Get into cover, man. Did not catch fire. Why can he not do stuff? That's weird. Alright. That's... That's weird. What's going on here? You were already... Oh, yeah, so you are. It's a very subtle fire. All right, hold on here. Fine. You're only a little bit on fire. First aid here. There you go. No more fire. All these better. And all you say, kaboom. Watch this. Oh, we got a compliment. Uh, all right. What a great sound. Thought there was somebody closer. <laughs> well, yeah, you're acting like I just woke you up. I still see you. Uh, 
uh, belay that. Oh, don't belay. Delay that. You would get acids on him if he did this. No, you know what? You can... Spoomish robot. Oh. Oh, it's a free action. Well, drop dead, asshole. Stinky here. I reach out from the darkness. One of many. Got stuff. It's like plus like I'm not here. You can't see me. I'm invincible. going. Yep, somebody's getting banished. Oh, hey. Bet you made it up here. Oscar Mike. Get out of here. Good to you. Go all the way over here. I'm at your service. You are leaving. Yeah, I've never seen a sexy boy move that far. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Nope, just one pew. We only needed the one pew. You can never escape my sight. <laughs> I heard the two shapeshifters wake up because they're the only things left. Come on, then. We're ready for you. You will get a free overwatch if you move over there. They're not going to shoot at you and don't need cover. Sorry. Good luck. <laughs> One moment. I mean, I'm kind of right there with you. Like, repeaters are a thing that seem almost too good, but... Boy, I mean, I'm just really satisfied with that. Well, Craig is a little bit trapped here. Wait. There we go. Get going. I got your back. Yes! <laughs> That's where you were. Points? I too am unfamiliar with this concept. All right. Lab, uh, XCOM. You know what I meant. Control click. Men is one five. Status confirmed. We're not picking well, up any additional. Can't contacts. test that right now. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Good mission. Ollie got a little bit toasty, but he's fine. That's a good one. I would like that we get that backdrop on this picture. That one's actually legit not bad. It's good enough that I'm just going to ask Craig to correct his posture a little bit here. There we go.
Yeah, I'm not gonna fart around this, you know, that's fine. Good. Ollie's just a little crispy. Of a large scale attack by unknown resistance agents against Advent peacekeepers indicate Advent forces were ambushed while attempting to peacefully clear an unauthorized settlement. Casualty numbers have yet to be. How do you peacefully clear an unauthorized settlement? Like, you really can't put a positive spin on an activity such as clearing an unauthorized settlement. Like, there's no way to be the good guy in that scenario. There's no way the aliens were expecting a fight like that. I'm impressed, Commander. Still no promotion for Gladhaus. Iris and Zero could be better buddies, though. Superior stock. There you go. Jesus, that's a hellish looking corpse. <laughs> you and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens. Oh, you're very right today. about that, Ollie. Impressive work. Commander. You did a good job, Commander. Let's see if we can kill two days and get the robo can't. Should be able to do that without too much trouble. What were we doing before this? We ac we accidentally flew over this way after doing another thing. All right, so get some intel. Avenger, Next time we'll uh, go ahead and blow up a couple of these facilities. There we go. You get spark. Uh, he's probably gonna be way down here. Yeah. He's just a squire. We already. Really? I didn't even know we actually got, like, extra Shen hits. managed to pull a set of encoded coordinates from the vial we recovered at the alien black site. And it looks like we're headed towards another as of yet unidentified facility. There are a bunch of theories floating around as to what we'll find. But at this point, I'm not ready to commit to anything until I see for myself. He defaulted to Vayhek and I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Very shiny. Better. I thought about giving him like the white and black motif like he uses in Warframe, but uh, GLaDOS kind of already took that. It still gives you white though. Yeah, that works. So very pretty. Wait, eh. Kind of like that one better. That'll, that'll do fine. Well, let's see what we have for patterns. Wow. This scroll wheel, there it goes. Arid zebra. <laughs> Maybe we don't need patterns. Maybe just the plain green is fine. Hmm. No. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's just stick with regular green. Yeah. But the uh, Robo cans. There you go. You're beautiful. We are all beautiful. You are beautiful. See you a TV viewer. I appreciate you. One day. That's a... Dolly doesn't even care. He's fine. Robocant isn't allowed to die in combat, says Ollie. I agree. Not that I think he could. We would have to try pretty hard to take down any of our sparks at this point. I'm not sure who out there in Resistance Man <sighs> caught a clip of that fight today, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Our pals over at XCOM put a beat down on the aliens so bad, those creepy green tubes they were born in are probably still shaking. To keep this up, we might just win this thing. There, I can acquiesce to this request on account of you're the dead guy. Uh, you are now cans. Czar of Czar of Streambrain. Streambrain. There we go. See, we still have cans. There he is. He's, he's good, as good as new. It's like he never got shot and blown up and killed and hurt and dead. He's there exactly as we, we remember him. That's enough of my crap for one night. <coughs> my voice agrees, apparently. Pretty much making progress at a linear rate here, I would say. We're uh, doing about as well as we expected. I look forward to getting that last armor suit. I really like the serpent suit. Like I said, you can definitely bet on seeing Z or on that, so. Ken says it's fine. All of my organs are here now. All he agrees. We did bring him back your body. Yeah, so he, yeah, he's fine. We just had to rebuild all of his parts because they were dead. But now he is fine and good. Nobody else milling around. Oh, something I think XCOM 1 did a little better. I mean, sometimes you can see people hanging out. Uh, okay, something's... We should at least see Ollie in there, so yeah, I guess we're just not getting anything, but... Anyway, yeah, good XCOM. Saving again, because that's what we do. Uh, I can't guarantee that I'll actually be doing a Besiege stream tomorrow, because, like I said, I've really waffled and not gotten anything done on the helicopter, I promised you. And I really feel like I'm going to need one to progress any further in the, in the main campaign, so... I'll, uh, see if tonight or tomorrow I can whip something up. And, uh... We'll do what we always do and just kind of play it by ear. But in any case, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, thanks for chatting. And, uh, more XCOM Thursday. Tomorrow's up in the air, maybe Besiege, maybe some filler stuff, don't know. And that's all I got for you. Have yourselves a good one. Meow. Yeah.